this could have been impossible, but yet it lives. To set out to create a 600-foot sculpture in the air that attaches between skyscrapers is not a simple endeavor. The sculpture weighs about a ton. It's more than 600 feet in length. It takes more than 100 miles of rope to create the structure you're looking at. This is the tallest sculpture I've ever made. We needed buildings to agree to let us tie into the structure of the core of their buildings. We were on the 28th floor at Internet One International Place, and um, this is a beam that the uh, Greenway has added uh, to our building. They've welded it to our columns, and this is going to be the support, one of the support uh, locations for the, um, the artwork. This was an office, this was actually an office. The tenant just moved out at the end of last month. This process starts by closing down the streets. Five cranes, each more than 90 tons, will lift it into the air and begin to attach a structural layer to the buildings. That's made of this fiber, ultra high weight molecular polyethylene. It's 15 times stronger than steel. From the beginning, I work with engineers. Any one cable is going to see up, upwards of around 50,000 pounds of force under the worst case wind load. We're inducing about 50,000 pounds of force, yet the sculpture itself, itself only weighs one ton. From a structural engineering perspective, what I like most about the forms of these, of these nets is they really are the physical embodiment of the latent potential energy of the built environment. The form that the net is taking is directly influenced by how much force that building can provide, how much force that building can provide, how much force that building can provide. That level of force dictates the shape of the structure. And I find that to be truly fantastic. The cities that we have built are made of straight lines and hard, rigid materials. And my work is the opposite of that. It becomes soft. It's changing its shape with every gust of wind. Having strength through your ability to change. The resilience is what makes it strong, not its brute strength. It's the opposite of steel and glass.